So before we wrap up the project, there is one other thing that I want to show you, and that is transforming the problem into a whole new problem. So as you know, for now, or until now, we've been working on a regression type of problem. We were trying to predict uh, a numerical value, a continuous value. But what if we can transform this problem into a classification one where we are trying to classify the given information into different buckets? And we can actually do that with this problem. So let's say the reason that we are doing this project is because a New York Taxi Association wants to know where taxi drivers, drivers will make the most money the next day so that they can forward their taxi drivers in a fair way to, you know, Texas forward the taxi driver half of them in the high money making regions and the other half to the low money making regions that could be a use case so um, what we can do in that case is that put our target var value var variable <laughs> into bins so that uh, we will be able to predict we will we will try to predict if the income is going to be high or low so let's let's quickly just go through this and I'll, I'll show you how we can do this practically. So I'm just looking at the, the plot. I actually want to look at a bigger plot. Okay, I'm looking at the plot. This is the distribution of the total amounts. And I think it makes sense to divide it around the $15 uh, line and say anything below $15 is low income, anything above 15 is high income. So then I'm going to change that and put that information into my data set. So this is again, everything that we had, count of transactions, everything that we had so far and the earning class binary and earning class um, column so um, yeah we don't want to it, it's very hard for models to work with strings so that's why we're turning it into zeros and ones instead of low and high okay so this is the model this is the data that we had also before and I also want to see if we did a good job dividing it because if we have too many high values or too few uh, low values then the data set will be unbalanced and it will be bad for our accuracy while we're training the model. So um, it looks like we have a good amount of examples both for the high income ones and low income ones. But then again, you know, this was a very uh, random number that we came out with. Maybe if you talk to domain ex expert, they'll be like, well, above something 50 would be uh, thought of as high income for a taxi driver. So. We don't know that, but I tried to do it in a balanced way so we have a nice, clean, balanced data set. Uh, again, the same thing that we're doing here. We're just dividing our input and uh, target features. And then I will divide my data set into train and test data sets and basically train a default random forest classifier here. And after the model is trained, of course, the next thing to do is to look at the metrics to understand how well we did. So let me see here. Okay, so uh, first I need to explain to you, of course, what these metrics are. Uh, the first one shows me how many times I got it right. So basically these diagonal lines shows me the ones that I got right, and these diagonal lines shows me the ones that I didn't get right. And uh, when you look at it, we actually did get a good amount uh, correctly classified. And yeah, I mean, we do have a significant, significant amount of data uh, points that were not correctly uh, classified. But then again, this is a default random classifier. So random forest classifier. So yeah, that's it. I think that we, we did all right. And then we have accuracy, precision, and recall. Um, I will share with you what these specifically are, but basically all you need to know for now is that these are the metrics that we use for classification because we need to, you know, when we're working with numerical values, we need to uh, look at the error and everything. We need to look at the uh, performance on a whole different level. And now we're just saying, okay, I have A's and B's, but like how many times did I get the A's right? How many times did I get the B's right? And uh, these go from zero to one. So I can actually say that we do have a very decent score here. We do have a very decent um, accuracy. And yeah, if you tune this model, I feel like we would get a very good score. So yeah, that's awesome.